We've all heard the standard advice on how to keep our hearts healthy, but is it really working? It doesn't appear so. Heart disease is on the increase, so is it that the advice is wrong or incomplete, or is it simply that people are just not following it? Well, it's hard to say. So let's look at some alternative ways in which you can keep your heart healthy and possibly avoid heart disease or further issues if you've already got it. Hey guys, it's Christian here from Cardiac Rehab Online and today we're looking at alternative ways in which you can keep your heart healthy. So number one, supplements. Our diets in general are pretty poor. Modern agricultural practices leave our soils depleted and therefore our foods with lower levels of nutrition than what the body requires to be healthy. Add in the chemical fertilizers, pesticides, uh, fungicides, herbicides, and all the food processing and the chemicals that they use. It creates this massive chemical cocktail that is destroying not only your health, but also the health of the environment as well. This is why we often need to supplement our diets as certain vitamins, minerals, and trace elements are missing from our food. I would recommend for heart patients the following. Chondroitin sulfate, glucosamine, hyaluronon, L-arginine, L-citrulline, coenzyme Q10, magnesium, and vitamin C. Look into adding these into your diet. What would you rather, a bathroom cabinet full of uh, vitamins, minerals, or a bathroom cabinet full of medication? Number two, diet. We want to eat a diet that's rich in quality, fresh, organic produce whenever possible. Eat vegetables, beets, garlic, leafy greens, for example, and fruits such as citrus, watermelon, nuts, seeds, and also a bit of dark chocolate is good for you, and even the odd glass of wine. Eat organ meats such as liver, heart, and kidneys. They are probably the most nutritious part of the animal and will give you a real nutrition boost. Number three, for mental health and well-being, relaxation is essential. Without relaxation, our bodies become overstressed and never get sufficient chance to recover, which has a damaging effect, increasing the pressure, the rate, and the flow of the cardiovascular system until something catastrophic happens, like a heart attack, for example. Now, we need to learn to meditate in some way, whatever practice you choose, every day to develop a practice of calming the mind. And if the mind is calm, so is the body. And most importantly, above and beyond anything else, every day, be grateful. Now, it might sound simple. It has been proven that when you are feeling grateful emotions, oxytocin, a healing hormone is released, which helps to protect against heart health issues. So be grateful, smile, and count your blessings. Number four, lifestyle. Now, get out into the sun as often and as much as possible. Obviously, middle of the day in a very hot climate, that's not ideal, you're just gonna burn yourself. But certainly in the morning when it's a little bit cooler and later on in the afternoon, again, when it's cooler and you're not going to burn, then you need to get out there as much as possible. And this really helps with the vitamin D production in the body. And the vitamin D is stored in the liver during the darker winter months and is hugely important for reducing inflammation in the body and also supporting the immune system. The importance of exercise is well documented and is proven that exercising regularly will improve your cardiovascular health. We all know that anyway. But for those who have already had a cardiac event or suffer with heart disease, cardiac rehabilitation is proven to improve the incidence of having a further cardiac event and also to improve survival rates. Not to mention the quality of life improvements that also come with it. When we're fitter, when we're healthier, we tend to enjoy life that little bit more and have less overall health issues. Hydration. So we want to drink clean water, daily, it's recommended that you drink about 0.03 times your body weight in kilos per day. So for example, a 90 kilo person would drink about three liters a day. And also bear in mind that the solution to pollution is dilution. 
So all those chemicals from the food additives and farming that can build up can help to be detoxified by drinking clean, quality water every day. Join a club, become more social. Humans are social creatures. And when we are deprived of connection with others, our health suffers accordingly. And this has never been more evident than through the COVID lockdowns. It's essential to maintain your clubs with your societies, your connection with others for the good of your health. Think about this. What's the worst thing they can do to a troublesome prisoner? Well, they put them in solitary confinement, right? So you need to unlock your own confinement and get out there and be social. In summary, there may be a few things that we've discussed today that you can change to improve your health. I'd recommend give yourself a quick critique and see where you can make a few changes today. Choose three areas that we've discussed to transform and give your health a boost. Try out some of those points where you can see if you can transform some of the habits that you're already doing and let me know in the comments section below how you got on with transforming any of those or any of the challenges that you faced with them. Guys, look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for joining me today. Take care.